Well, Dan, here we are again, and your prediction was nearly right, and I need to say that I'm sure everybody in South Africa was most disappointed, disappointed with last week's game. Your thoughts? Yeah, it was disappointing, uh, and of course my run has ended now, and my predictions have come wrong. Uh, we lost in the last seconds, Mark, and that, uh, that was very disappointing, um, because I felt the Springboks were quite flat. They seemed a little bit complacent. I think they were a little bit shocked by what the Wallabies standing up to, up to them in the scrums. Uh, and it wasn't quite what we expected. They lacked their usual intensity. But when you look at that game, we lost in the last seconds to Quade Cooper's really outstanding penalty. He kicked seven out of seven. But we scored three tries to one, and we left at least 10 points on the board. So I think we can take a lot from that, that uh, if we'd kicked better, we might have won. Uh, if we'd finished better, we might have won. So it wasn't as though it was a dreadful defeat. Now, um, what did happen was that uh, people climbed into uh, Andre Pollard for having missed some kicks, and I was very disappointed with that. You know, the guy's our third highest point scorer ever after Mornay uh, Stain and after Percy Montgomery. He has a, a, a match average of just over nine points, which is just one point behind Mornay. He's been our hero, so I thought that was very unfair to have a go at him. But... That's it. Now we have to win. We have to beat the Wallabies in Brisbane at the Suncorp Stadium. If we don't win, that's it. We're out of the rugby championship. It's been handed to New Zealand who are ahead of us on the log. Can we win? Well, I think we can. Obviously we can. We've again gone with the 6-2 uh, the split, um, which means we don't have a specialist lock on the bench. We're again relying on uh, Damon Willemser to come in as a backup kicker, which has uh, resulted in a lot of criticism. I, however, uh, wonder what happened to the Springboks. I think the, they got a bit of a fright in the scrum. They were complacent. The other question is, did they miss Russi? The, the, his steely hand wasn't there. But let's go into the next Test match. We have to go back to 2013 to find the last time we won in Australia, although we did win in Brisbane. Uh, a, a prediction? I actually uh, believe that the Springboks will be more focused. They'll get their intensity back. And I very confidently uh, predict that we will win this one. And there is just one concern that I have. The English referee, Matthew Carey, we had an English referee last week who allowed a lot of strange things. Uh, the, the Springboks kept quiet this time, but they were unhappy with how the scrums were blown. And then the riding off sides and coming in the side. I mean, I don't know how many times Mike, Michael Hooper got in the way of Fuffy, came off so off sides. You know? So if the referee controls that, and I'm sure we've spoken about it, uh, and, and we get a fair deal, I'm sure the focus will be back, the intensity we will back, and I'm confident, as I say, that we'll win this one. Hmm. Thank you, Dan. <laughs>